that's how it's done. Today we're gonna learn how to score more goals. Number one, get inside the box. I know it's fun to work on long range shots and those screamers on your spare time, but pure stats wise, in football, a large majority of the goals are actually being scored from inside the box. So obviously, that's where you wanna be. Now, I did some digging, I was looking for some stats, and I found that, for example, Ruud van Nistelrooy scored 95 goals in the English Premier League. And out of those 95, 94 came from inside of the box. And pretty consistently, in the major European leagues, only around 15% of the goals are being scored from outside of the box. So obviously, if you want to get to those danger areas, you need to get yourself inside the box. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't try your luck from outside of the box as well, but in order to get on the score sheet as often as possible, make sure to stay in the box as often as possible. Number two, aim low. Once you get yourself into a goal scoring position, generically speaking, it's often a good idea to try and aim low for a couple of reasons. First of all, those low balls are very difficult for the goalkeepers to catch because he has to dive and stretch for the ball in order to try and make a save. And secondly, if you're aiming for those bam, low corners, even if you miss hit the ball a little bit, there's still a good chance that the ball will stay under the bar and within the frames. On the opposite hand, if you always aim for the top bins and try to score those incredible worldies, you're probably gonna miss a huge chunk of your opportunities, which is not a good idea, just for the sake of you scoring a couple of nice goals in the season. Take a look at the goals, for example, Lionel Messi scores oftentimes. He has mastered an incredibly efficient and powerful, simple looking in-step strike. And sure, while he can, of course, put the ball into the top corner. A lot of his goals also come when he's shooting low, which is something you should also do. And lastly, number three, shoot more often and with both feet. Now, I know this can sound a little bit stupid, but a lot of players out there could definitely score a lot more goals if they just had the courage to try and score more often. Now, usually young players don't try and shoot as often as they could because they are, in their opinion, in a bad and uncomfortable position to try and get a nice shot off on goal. And in my opinion, this is usually due to the lack of game-like training sessions, especially when you're practicing on your spare time. Also, if you're already in a game, you have missed a couple of nice opportunities. You might already be low on confidence. And obviously that will usually lead to you not even going for those goal scoring opportunities, even if they might be directly in front of you. So try to learn how to be more decisive and take the chances as often as you can. And lastly, you obviously wanna be able to score with both feet. Imagine you have a ball coming towards you and you're in a position to score with your weak foot. If you can't do that, you're gonna score a lot less goals. So make sure you practice finishing with your strong and weak foot. So that's it for today's tips on how to score more goals. Obviously nothing beats practice, but you guys already know that. And if you have some better advice, make sure to write it down in the comment section below so that other people can also read the great tips you might have for scoring more goals. And before you exit this episode, you wanna watch this one next for even more tips on how to score more goals and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. That's it for today, I'm out.